This Olympic silver medalist now has a perfect record as a professional consisting of 29 fights, 29 victories, including 26 KOs. His KO percentage, the highest in middleweight championship history. From Karaganda, Kazakhstan, the reigning, defending, middleweight champion of the world. May mga balita na kumakalat na baka mapapasabak ang pabansang kamao na si Manny Pacman sa isang kampiyon na taga Kazakhstan. Ito ay may record na 40 wins at isang talo at isang draw at 38 knockouts. Matagal lang nakasama ni Freddy Roach si Manny Pacquiao na pinagbawalan ang isang maikling semi-split at sinabi na tinaguri ang veterano na tagapagsanay na ang 41 taong gulang na manlalaban ay may pagnanais na kita bilang pinakamahusay na boksingero sa mundo. Pagmasdan ang mga highlights ng dalawang boksingero at para maikumpara nyo kung sino ang mas magaling. Counter left hand and right that once again. Game. That stunned Velasquez. Velasquez now nailing Pacquiao with the right. He blocked one right hand with his glove, took the second right hand, and shook his head a bit. Pacquiao landing a left in there. Velasquez with a right and a left. Wild action extends beyond the bell at the end of the round. Manny Pacquiao hits and gets hit. And have this sense. Train on a daily basis. Here's a good body punch. Those right hands, he's been catching this fight. It could be a big factor late in the fight. Perfect right hand by Pacquiao. Right hook. Kinausap ni Roach si Chris Mannix ng DAZN tungkol sa kung ano ang maaaring isusunod kay Pacquiao na may hawak na WBA welterweight title. Isang bagay tungkol kay Manny ayaw niyang talunin ang sinuman. Nais niyang lalabanan ang mga nangungunahang lalaki, sabi ni Roach. Tulad ng tinawag niya si Mikey Garcia na ilang beses. Sa pagay ko isang magandang laban para sa kanya. Siyempre si Robert Garcia, kapatid at tagapagsanay ni Mikey, ay tinawag siya sa isa sa iyong mga palabas. Naging ngiti ako dahil gusto ko ang laban na iyon para kay Manny. Sa palagay ko, ito ay isang mahusay na laban. Nanlalaki ang mga mata ni Manix kay Roach na nagmumukhaki ng pakikipaglaban kay Gennady Golovkin. Si Golovkin ay may record na 40 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw. 35 knockouts. Siya ay 38 years old. And ito ay taga Kazakhstan na may hawak na pamagat sa middleweight ng IBF at dapat ay mayroon sila si Pacquiao ay hindi kailanman nakipaglaban sa isang 150 pound catchweight. At habang pinatalsik niya si Antonio Magarito sa laban na iyon, alam ni Manny na kahit na ang 150 ay masyadong mataas na timbang para sa kanya upang labanan karamihan ay 
pinahintul utuan ang isang kalaban na mas malaki kaysa sa kanya at iyon ay 10 taon na ang katakalipas. Ang 147 ay isang panganib sa isang pagkakataon. Sinabi sa akin ng lahat, bakit mo siya inilipat hanggang sa 147? Maari niyang gawin madali ang 140. Maari siyang talaga gumawa ng 135 kung naghukay siya. Ngunit upang nabanan ang pinakamalaking mga laki sa 147, kung saan ang pera naging mabuti sa ating lahat upang labanan ang mga husay na si Oscar de la Hoya nakapagtatunda ito ay talagang bumalik ito para sa Ang Pacquiao vs. GGG ay hindi malamang na mangyari. Ngunit para lamang sa talakayan, sinabi ni Golovkin sa mga nakaraang taon, bagaman hindi particular, na Since that time, he's been fighting bigger guys. Marquez, Morales, now Velasquez, all of them bigger and stronger than Barrera. And it's good. That's what the athlete knows that left hand punch. Stuns Velasquez. Knocked out trying to finish it. Got 40 seconds to get it done. One of the most vicious finishers in the sport. Velasquez in big trouble now. Trying to hold on. The increasing accuracy of Pacquiao's shots. Making a difference to Velasquez. Goes to his knees as the round comes to a close. They're saying he did so before the bell. So it is a knockdown. And that's a stop in. Something nobody else has. The ringside experts think that the fight wasn't even a credible Big idea. Awesome. Round one was mostly Manny Pacquiao. Round two is even more so. Deloy has not been able to solve Pacquiao's speed, movement, the southpaw style. What is the feeling of a fighter when he's in there with somebody who's always beating him to the punch? He's getting hit with virtually every shot that Pacquiao throws. Deloy hasn't been down, but that may be the only thing that's keeping Weeks from stopping him. Manny Pacquiao is annihilating Oscar De Loya. Tony Weeks has a tough decision in front of him. There's a lot of glory and a lot of money in Oscar De Loya's past, but he's getting beaten up here. One more round, or is that it? Is that it? Right now, you're here to corner is one to stop the fight. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Let's the fist finish. That's it, let's go. It's done. around the world. You, of course, Freddie, as I mentioned, you have some notable fighters on your roster. You also train, like, a lot of young guys up and coming the ranks. I mean, how often are you hearing from your guys wondering, when can we get back? I mean, what's what's it going to look like? How do we, how does this all work? Yeah, about daily, you know, they'll call here and there. And, you know, is the gym open yet? Uh, you know, when, when we get started, when's my next fight? Um, you know, this guy called me, that guy called me, but, um, Nothing really set yet. Nothing in me. 
Yeah, I, mean, I think that's the case for a lot of people. It is good to see you know, Top Rank is starting to get some shows off the ground. I think BBC is going to get some shows off the And the memories uh, to me are right around the corner. And uh, I, you know, just Pacquiao uh, knocking people. I mean, he he's a guy that in the gym never tried to hurt anybody, never tried to knock anyone out in the gym. But all of a sudden, bang, a shot landed, and it, it, someone got knocked out. And you know, he would he, like he wouldn't do it on purpose. It was just natural, and he had that natural speed. And I mean, and you didn't see that punch coming, and if it hit you, he'd be on your ass. And uh, he would. I mean, and then he carried over into the into the fights. And then I remember. The first time he knocked somebody out with, 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 with his right hand, uh, we worked on that for like three months, over and over and over and over again, over again. And it's getting better and better every day, every day. And then all of a sudden we, we go to Chicago and, and he knocks out one of the local fighters there. And uh, then Manny Pacquiao becomes a two-fisted fighter and now he's really dangerous. Really dangerous, that's right. You. You were asked a lot over the years about, you know, what would have happened if Floyd fought Manny in like 2009, 2010, when they were both kind of at their, at one of their peaks. I'm wondering, I don't know if you've ever asked this question, but, you know, Floyd, I thought was always at his best at 130. He was really good at 130. Like when he beat Diego Corrales, that was impressive. Yes. Uh, Pacquiao came up the ranks at 130. How do you think a matchup between Floyd and Manny at 130 would have gone? Uh, you know, I love that fight, and of course, I love Manny in that fight. <laughs> you know, but Mayweather, you know, he's, he's, he was a very a smooth fighter. Uh, not as big a puncher as Manny, I, I don't believe, but, you know, Manny had that, that, that punch, and he had that speed. And speed, 